today is officially my birthday. For my actual birthday, I wanted to come on here and do a whole poly gel tutorial for you guys. A little birthday tutorial. I wanted to do like a simple but extra set. This is what I came up with. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I came up with. And I'm going to take y'all step by step of how I did it, the materials I used. I just know a lot of the times whenever I post things about poly gel and how I do poly gel on either TikTok or my Instagram, I get a lot of questions on what I do, how I did it. So I just wanted to make a little mini tutorial video for you guys to show you step by step on how I did these bad boys here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of mad that I did them so long because I'm about to travel. So I'm gonna have a time with these traveling. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. So originally I asked you guys on my Instagram what nail set would y'all like to see me do and I gave y'all two options and y'all picked this one. I kind of went off the rails and I did my own little thing but this is the inspiration. I did my dominant hand off camera because that's the most trickiest thing on camera for me to do personally. If y'all want a separate video of different tips and tricks that I do to do my dominant hand just let me know in the comments down below and we'll make that happen. But first we have to prep. Prepping is going to be the most important part of this whole entire process because we want our nails to last as long as they possibly can. I just thought by pushing back my cuticles. So I have a cuticle pusher. I got this one from Amazon and we're just going to push them back and then we're going to come back with a sanding band to remove the natural shine from my natural nail. And if you don't have a nail drill, you can just use a buffer or you can use a low grit nail file to remove the shine. Just so we can remove that natural shine, those oils from your natural nail so we can adhere what we need to adhere to the nail and keep it there as long as possible. I'm just gonna take some alcohol to kind of dehydrate my nail plate um you can use some dehydrator but if you don't have dehydrator you can easily just use some alcohol so before we add anything else i just want to make it clear you can use a base coat with poly gel um most poly gel kits come with a top coat and a base coat so i just did not do it in this video so just don't mind me i kind of skipped over that part because i told y'all i was rushing definitely use base coat for the next step and then we're going to apply our nail tips so i'm just using some some nail glue by Young Nails and this glue honestly gets the job done every single time. Um, I'm using some nail tips also from Amazon. You can find it on my Amazon storefront. Um, I use a nail form to make sure all of my nails are at the same length and yeah I ended up regretting the length but you can make your nails as long or as short as you want them to be. Okay so now we have all of our nail tips on we can move on to the actual poly gel. So I am in love with McCart's poly gel. It's so easy to work with. I'm gonna be using this purple. So I already used the purple on my dominant hand off camera. I'm just showing you guys which purple that I use just in case if you wanna go check it out. So for my non-dominant hand, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try pink. And then for the glitter, I'm gonna use this poly gel glitter called Top Notch. Since I'm doing an ombre look, I like to cap ombre off with a clear poly and then we have the slip solution which we're going to need to help move the poly gel around. So we're going to start with the pink. So I start with one strip of poly gel right where the nail tip meets my natural nail and then I bring it all the way down to the bottom and we're going to keep it pretty thin because I'm going to have to add layers, different layers of poly gel on top. So I don't want this to be bulky and then we're just going to lay it flat. And the poly gel brush that I'm using isn't actually a poly gel brush. I just made it a poly gel brush. I found it on Amazon. With most poly gel kits, they give you the smaller poly gel brushes. And um, I like dealing with bigger brushes when I'm doing sets. So yeah, we made this a poly gel brush. It's gonna be a poly gel brush today. I have it in my Amazon storefront if you're interested in trying a bigger poly gel brush instead of those smaller poly gel brushes that they provide for you in the kits. But it all depends on your personal preference. But after I lay everything flat, I'm going to cure. I probably cure it for 30 seconds. The UV nail lamp that I use is from McCart, but I also, I think I have some UV nail lamps that are on Amazon, on my Amazon storefront. Some cheaper options if you're not looking to spend a whole lot of money on a nail lamp quite yet. But yes, you'll definitely need a nail lamp when it comes to poly gel to cure it. So yeah, now I'm just doing the same thing to my pointer finger. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing to all of my other fingers off camera. But I just wanted to show you guys again how I laid it and everything turned out super, super neat. I was so proud of it. So now all of my nails are done. That's step one with this style. And now we can go ahead and fill in the cuticle area. So with that, I like to take the poly gel and lay it right before the cuticle area and then kind of push it up to the cuticle. Area. That way it's not overlapping the cuticle and we don't have a mess up there. And with McCart's, like McCart's formula for poly gel, it doesn't run, like it's very firm. So you really won't have that hard of a time trying to manage it. And with poly gel, you just really just pat your way down, <laughs> pat your way through the whole set. So I'm really just patting and swiping the poly gel just to make sure everything is smooth and leveled. And this is what it's gonna look like from a side view. Now, as you can see, we already have an apex. We do have a little dip going on in the middle but we're gonna fill that in with the glitter and with the clear poly gel so don't worry about that so with that i'm just gonna place the glitter right at the free edge and flatten it out and then right when i get to the point where i feel like i want it to start like ombre if that's even a word <laughs> i drag it i just drag that glitter right on up and then i keep doing that until i end up with the perfect ombre look that i want and in spots that I feel like it needs to be filled in a little bit more, I just add a little bit more poly gel. No problem, no issue. And once I feel it's perfect, of course, you're gonna go ahead and cure that. Basically, I'm curing after every layer. Like I said, I'm curing as I go. That's like always the number one question that I get, do you cure as you go? And with poly gel, I definitely cure as I go. It's just so much easier that way. So you definitely wanna make sure everything is as flat as possible before you cure and before you move on and it looks the way you want it to look. But um, that's pretty good to me. I like it. And um, from a side view, it's still a little dip, but we still have to put our clear poly gel on top. So we're gonna do that right now. So with the clear poly gel, it's basically to save the nail design once I start filing. Honestly, if I was just doing the pink, I would not cap it off with clear because it's just an extra step that I feel like I don't have to do. But since I do have a nail design, I have the ombre, I want to protect that ombre because if I don't, I will file it off and it's not gonna look the way I want it to look. So we're gonna use some clear poly gel. Now after you cure a poly gel, you get this sticky kind of gooey finish to it. And when you're trying to file that, it makes it very difficult to file. So what you do to really harden it is just get some alcohol. And I'm just gonna wipe down all of my nails and it hardens right on up so we can start filing. So when I file, I like to use an 80 grit nail file when I file, it just, gets the job done a lot quicker. It's a panophile, you can find it on Amazon. And I got it in a pack of like six or 10 or something like that. And after I file, of course, I buff my nails to get all the scratches off. And this is the masterpiece that we have left. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I was about to quit at this point because I did not like the way this looked. The pink was pink and like the pink is really, really bright. And I don't know if I like that so much, especially against my skin tone. There's literally no do-overs at this point. The deed is done. I have to move on because I don't have time to redo anything. So I just wanted to put both of my nails side by side so you guys can see the difference between the cuticle area. So the pink one, I did not snatch my cuticles and then the purple one, I did. Some of the poly gel is kind of overlapping my cuticle area on the pink side. So to snatch my cuticles, I'm gonna be using this cuticle bit. So I'm not sure the actual name of this drill bit, but I know it's a carbide bit and um, I got it from Kiara Sky. And I'm really just using it to seal the cuticle. I call it, I say snatch the cuticle, 
but I'm just going to go around and smooth everything out around the cuticle area and I'm loving the way it looks from the side view the apex is apexing so um, I'm going to just go ahead and buff my nails out again because I thought I was done before but I forgot to go ahead and seal the cuticle on my pink nails so we're over here skipping steps I'm telling you I'm trying to hurry up I'm trying to go in the original picture the nail design was just a simple like outline it's an outline of a French line but I wanted to do something a little bit more extra I saw this nail set on Instagram on my Instagram feed and I'm liking the abstract design so we're gonna do that I'm going to use this Kiera Sky liner brush, this white gel liner brush. With this, you just do little squiggly lines every which way. And um, it really just works out. Once I do the first squiggly line, which is kind of a squiggly French line really, everything else kind of just complements that one. So it just flows in the same direction as that one does but in a different direction at the same time, if you know what I'm saying. I might want to do an extra line under that line that flows in the same direction. But yeah, this abstract design was super easy to do because your lines don't have to be precise. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. You can mess up and end up liking what you made and keeping it. Cause I know a couple times I messed up, but I ended up making it into just a squiggly line and it, it worked out. Okay, and this is the finished product of that one. And I didn't want to stop there. So I wanted to do some type of chrome on top. Maybe nothing too extra because I already have the glitter underneath this design. But something really light. You're going to cure this for 10 seconds only because you still want that surface to be sticky. So you can rub your chrome on top. And I have a chrome pen from Madame Glam. And it's a very light color. It kind of it's like a pinkish purplish color in the light. And you really don't see it until the light shines on it. So I'm gonna rub that on all over. Once I put everything on, then I'm gonna take a detailed liner brush and I dipped it into some clear top coat. And I'm going to top off the little lines. So everywhere where I want the chrome to say, I'm gonna put the top coat and then we're going to cure that. And I cured it for 30 seconds and after I cured that, I'm gonna take some acetone on my no lint wipe and wipe everything else away. So the only thing that's there is the chrome on the little squiggly lines. And then really after that, we top coat that and we're done. This honestly didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. It took a long time, but just not as long. But I'm super proud of the finished product. The only thing I wish I would've did was made my nails a little bit shorter, but all in all, I do like the design. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments down below. Um, I was super nervous about doing this set because I went off the rails. It's not what y'all voted on, but it's similar y'all saw the vision so yeah i hope this video was super helpful to anybody that's looking into poly gel and looking to start poly gel so thank you for watching if you watch this far y'all i'm about to get into this birthday cake that i've been dying to dig into ever since i started doing my nails i told myself this was going to be kind of like my reward for finishing let's take a bite it's the red velvet y'all it's from kroger so it might be dry Mm -mm. no that's good that's real good but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching if you watched this far and i will see you guys in my video next week mm, so yummy